Ready? Ready. Welcome to Curiosity Public. Dutch! Dose! Delectable! Delightful! <laughs> 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 Broken. I can't even do it. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, welcome brilliant. to another episode of oh, man. Uh, Curiosity Public's Ultimate Spirits Competition. Our quest for every civic spirit on the face of the planet is subjected to our crazy heart 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, Balmoria. Balmoria. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Balmoria. Oh, my goodness. Garrison Brothers. Balmora. Have... Balmora, right? Balmora. Balmora. Oh. Uh, they got a little metal on it, and like, it has so many adornments, guys. Isn't it cute? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, like the, got a I like belt. the color, though. I do. I, I love it. Who <laughs> farted? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. One of you guys farted, I heard. No. It. Okay, but anyway. Uh, oh, Balmora, my goodness. Let's take, a look at, it. <laughs> let's take out the bottle. <laughs> Garrison Brothers. Look at this. Look at the accoutrement. The World Spirits Competition, San Francisco 2020, double gold. They've got their own medallion on it to celebrate that as well texas bourbon whiskey 115 proof um born and bred in high texas h-y-e i don't know how you pronounce that is that right cooked distill distilled barreled and bottled by garrison brothers uh food grade number one white corn from farms in south Te texas distilled and barreled this is the 2015 distillation and barreling bottle number 10 10 release date 2021 we'll get you the side view there so you can see all that info this is, is this an annual release dylan i think it is sure um i'm gonna crack it open i'm gonna take these accoutrement off so i don't keep knocking into them and get us poured um now we met one of the brothers at a whiskey event ages ago that's right mm -hmm. and we tried the uh the, the the regular offering and you know he he kept talking about how the extreme temperature shifts in texas you know allowed them to age in four years a whiskey that in other areas would have to age something like Almost 10 years double. right yeah. right so let's see how this one is. Dylan, any info? Yeah, uh, you know, this is one of their premium offerings, right? So yes. uh, it used to be around 160, uh, but now it's getting up to 200. Um, the community is somewhat divided. Uh, and I think it's divided not just because of this release, but because of um, whiskeys that are coming from these like super hot climate or areas of the world where they argue that the maturation of the product is accelerated compared to the rest of the, uh, you know, the areas in the country, like Kansas, uh, not Kansas, Kentucky, or... Yeah, give it more heat. Uh, yeah. Or New York, even. I mean. Or New York, or, or big, you know, big or Scotland, or, you know, like, the, we, we hear about this in whiskeys, in scotches. You know, the question is, my biggest question about this release is, what's the finish like? Mm. Because I think... Yeah, the initial palette. Yeah, it, most of the time, we'll initial palette, that, yeah. I think people would would agree that these hot climate areas do provide a robust flavor. Yeah. But the, where it lacks is the kind of the, the finish, the end, and sometimes in the complexity as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think also um, what can happen is, you know, you'll get that big bright hit up front, Yeah. you know? And trails. But then then the balance, like you said, balance and body are, are can be a big deal. So, all right, guys, we're going to get tasting. Um, now, we're going to be comparing this for members of Curiosity Private to something that's probably more readily available. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Why? <laughs> well, we're actually picking a specific batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, right. the B521, which is what? a low for Elijah Craig, mm -hmm. 118 proof, but very close to the Balmora, which was, what, 115? So... Kind of close in proof, probably a much more widely available product here in Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and a much more limited, more expensive product here in the Garrison Brothers. So let's just see how that washes out. That'll be for members only. If you want to become a member, hit the join button down below here on YouTube or head over to Patreon, join over there, you'll get the same content. Um, but hey, if you don't care about stuff like that, then just stick around here and we're going to finish our review of Garrison Brothers Balmora. Ooh, Ooh. wake-up juice right there. Oh, yeah. Did you fart again? No. 
<laughs> like how Dylan answered quicker than you. <laughs> no, no, no. You know why? Because I, I made the noise, but it wasn't uh, uh, flatulence. It was, it was the, uh, it was my shoe. What's the matter? Time to buy it. No, I didn't. That was just my shoes. Which I can, I can, yeah, I can, I, I will replicate it. I can See? put the flatulent noise in anytime <laughs> exactly. I want to. Though that's a great thing about being the editor. <laughs> Dylan farted. What's the price point? Uh, it's now closer to two hundred, but I got Ooh. it for I got it for one sixty. Mm. Don't you remember me uh, messaging you? It's like, should I get this? And you're like, you send me that like every day. <laughs> your response was meh. Not a priority. <laughs> <laughs> what what is a priority anymore? Uh, what is it called? Blood oath. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got to get the blood oath. I'm super curious. What you think about this? All right. <laughs> you keep spinning your pen. <laughs> You're like. Anyway, um, we've had some time to taste. We've had some time to score. Uh, we haven't looked at each other's scores. We haven't discussed this at all. We've we've had some banter, but we mm. haven't discussed how we're scoring Not this. Not witty. Not very. Nothing we do is that witty. But um, <laughs> let's get into this, guys. Uh, we're going to give our initial scores. But first, Julie here is going to give you guys Keep forgetting. a breakdown of our scoring system. All right. Ten categories across 100 points that include aroma, flavor, body complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. We do a flavor at 20 points and a six of value at five points each. And you can score in a competition. You get a 60 and above. You can go from bronze, silver, gold to diamond. Just making sure I have the right score. All right. Initial score time. Of course, this could change. My initial score. 77. Ooh. 80. 81. Okay, we're, we're coalescing here around yeah. the number, so that's good. Um, let's kick Maybe. things off with aroma. You guys might be surprised by this. 10. This is not perfect. This had everything I could ask for in a, in a nose. Everything. I'll get into the details, but let's get our scores. I give it an 8. And that's wrong. I give it a 9, but I understand you. Uh, I mean, I, was, I, 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 I did... Right, what's Contemplate missing? Contemplate a 10? What I wrote here's down what is, I knocked it off for. What I wrote down is what's missing. No, here's what I knocked it off for. I was getting enough of that uh, tannic hit on there that no. was just unpleasant. I, I get you on the palate, not on the nose. No, I was all. getting it on the nose, dude. So, oh my gosh, dark sugars. No, there's enough of it there. Cooked fruit. Yeah, it's a tin Spice. There. It's beautiful. Beautiful nose. It's no nice. complaints on the nose. I could, it's I mean, nice. no, there is nothing missing on this nose for me. Dylan? For me, it's not about uh, a missing piece. I think I agree with you. The breadth of aroma is phenomenal. Um, the issue I had was how the uh, the ethanol uh, mm -hmm. kind I, I of came in. I didn't get any. Uh, I wish it wasn't. Um, it kind of hindered the enjoyment mm -hmm. to a degree. And, and so if, I would say if, this if, is like nine point seven five. If I if I got that, I would agree with you, but I didn't get any of that. And that's I, it's why a nine point seven five, but we round down. That's yeah. why it's a nine. Fair enough. But because it's not perfect, I mean, it's it's close. It's really close, folks. I don't know. It is really. I have nothing I can. Mark beautiful, it on. beautiful yeah. bouquet. Hats off. Yep. This I is agree. like you know again. This is a the positive of the Texas weather. Very rare that I give something a 10 on aroma, guys. Yeah, so, this is great. Uh, let's move on to flavor. Very good. 18. Not perfect. In any way. 17. I gave it a 17. I started with 18. I had to Me drop too, it actually. down one. Why did you drop it? Because I, I was getting cinnamon, all these spices, mm -hmm. nice dark rich fruits, yeah. nice dark rich sweetness. Yeah. Uh, why why is 17 not an 18? So, so this is I, 18 to me. Let me describe. Mm -hmm. So when I when I started to uh, taste this, I got like grape. It started off with grape. I loved it. The grape skin is amazing. The molasses is amazing. The apricot, the plum, the jam of all of these fruits, it's there. And then just right at the end, there was a little bit of that grain mm -hmm. that kept coming back. And, and, and it just keeps coming back. And it's like one of those things where it's a, it's like a, almost like a unbridled grain. It's a raw grain component yeah. that it just, you can, you can definitely taste it, oh, yeah. but it's, 
it sometimes you know, gets coated by the rest of the stuff, and then but it still comes in. No, but in the way you know, it's interesting for me. The way it came in too is uh, the word that kept coming to mind is like this effervescence. It's like it's bubbling. Okay, let and me, that's me, what annoyed me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's I see like, our discrepancy here is because yeah. I docked it on finish for what you're talking about. Ah, mm. uh, okay. I did not deduct any points from flavor because I think it's. I think the flavors on the initial palette are are out of the. Like, no. They're fantastic. I think it's enough. To I think dock it's it, amazing. Uh, yeah. Look how dark achieved, this thing is. Too. I mean, like, look right. how dark that is. Yeah. I, I, I mean, wish the syrupy. grain. I wish the grain component could have been aged out. I know you guys. Yeah. I, I want to get it into surfaces finish. Surfaces up and it's yeah, because weird. because we'll, what we'll I'm, you finish. know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm tasting it, but... like the like a hint of the flavor profile that I get in a white dog. Hmm. Like that's the thing when I we talk about that, that grain. That. Like it's there. It's I know what still you're talking there. about, but I didn't get it's it. It's right there. Hmm. Okay, guys, let's move on to body. I wrote down a question mark here <laughs> for my comments, but I gave <laughs> it an eight, and I really don't know why. It's it's good, but I can't I can't put any words to it. I'll tell you why because I so I gave it an eight as well. I gave it an eight. There are portions of it where it was drying. Yeah, but that's finish. And no, that's also the body. It's like yeah. it wasn't. It was removing like the velvety that I was getting at the mm. beginning, and then it's like that's mm. really good. Oh, it's it's still good. Yeah, but I, I think I think this kind of again um, goes into what, what the what happened with the flavor. Mm. Like the body kind of drops off in yeah. some aspects. Like I think yeah. it's because it's like replaced by the ethanol kick. Yeah, and so because of that, it's not like perfect. And there's a component of it where you notice that it is not perfect. It's yeah. like it's. I think anybody who's been drinking uh, bourbon for a long time. The thing is, it jars time, you, right? It jars you enough. To yeah, where it's like, yeah. You know what? It, it, that's fine. why it's not a nine or a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to complexity. A lot going on here. Yeah. Eight. I completely agree. I give it a nine. I, yeah, I waffle Shh. between eight and a nine. Me too. I mean, it's a super strong nine. What'd maybe you give it? Nine. I gave it an eight. Nine I agree. I, 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 I see the nine. I understand no, it, but yeah, it's like so need much happening. Something else to push me to it personally, mm -hmm. and I need the. I kind of need the finish to be better for some reason. I, I would have liked to, to finish. I would have I liked a little bit of. Um, you know what I would have liked? I would have liked a kind of a balance uh, uh, presentation of the ripe and summer, like the summer fruits that are ripe, more so than just the jam, and and I think that. That component is missing, mm -hmm. and and because this is just, just like rich, rich, dark flavors, it really quashes any chance that like the floral component, the elderflower component, that, like those things will be uh, pretty There's much. There's a lot missing. here. There's a lot here. Like, it, it, it's, I was it's, getting a lot of the flavors. Like eight point eight, eight point. I'm like, I'm really close to it. Yeah, I, there's I really a lot am. there, dude. Yeah, it's I mean, not perfect, but yeah, it's, it's not perfect, no. and I. And again, like for our members, I think if you've tried some of the brilliant releases from Four Roses, Private Select, uh, some of the like the yeah. um, uh, mash bill, like OESO o, uh, uh, or OBSO, think, yeah. you get that floral component yeah. like right at the right at the yeah. beginning. All right, guys, let's move on to balance. I knocked it here six. Me too. This is where I knocked it the most. I gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. I think that was the issue. Yeah. I think there was yeah, an issue. Yeah. So, I think we're both seeing the same things here. Yeah. It's just it's it's chaotic. It's, yes, it's a little well, bit like things presented. come in at different times. Like the initial yeah. palette, I think, is great, but right. then like immediately, it's like okay, some of the flavors drop off, and then this yeah. tannic thing juts in. Yep, and then and then it bubbles kind of up. That's how the best way I could describe right. it, and that's yeah. what kept throwing it off. For okay, me. yeah. I think uh, good. So let's move on then to finish, which. What I just said, uh, to me, that jutting of the tannic thing completely ruined the finish for me. The body, the flavors, they all drop off so quickly for me. I give it a six. Ooh, wow. I give it an eight. I gave it an eight. I think you guys It didn't drop off that quick. It is a week eight. Quick. Way it is a week eight. eight. Too it is much a week eight. tannin on the... Taste it again, man. This The See, flavors drop that. off and you get tannic. You get bad flavors in the finish. You don't get better flavors. That's why I had to go... I'll tell more. you why. You know, I tried the other Garrison mm. Brothers... And your your criticism would apply to those. I, I think it applies to this I too, think, man. I think I don't know. I do get a little bit mm. of tannic. Like it's very. Yeah, lovely. no, I get it, and that's why I it's not. Perfect. But I'm getting more spice. But you know what? Finish. You know what? I get. I, I get it say, only on the finish. That's why I had to. I knock still it. get like the molasses, yeah. and I still get the. And sweetness. that's what lingers still and get stays. The fruits, yeah, I just yeah, it's still there. But, I yeah. get the. I also get the bitterness. Uh, all the and stuff I get you guys are talking about about the about the body and all the flavors. They just to me they just diminish. I mean, I could go down. I could yeah, I, mean, I could go down to seven. 
I, yeah, this um, is definitely not a strong eight. It's not a strong yeah, eight, yeah, but... I, I think you guys are way too high. I think it. it's just because I've tried the other Garrison Brothers, and I'd say but this is probably the But judge for what it is. Uh, it's not an eight. An eight is really good finish. This is there. There are negative flavors that come out on the finish. I can't. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah. I can't you convince okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. You convince there me. There's a fine. negative flavor. I'll go, I'll go down one. Yeah. Okay. You convince me. All right. Let's move on to uniqueness. Um, going the other way, I <laughs> gave it a nine. I, I mean, I give it an I eight. I could see your nine. I give it an eight. Yeah, I, um, I understand the eight too. But I, as I'm thinking about this, I'm like, I, I don't really know a lot of bourbons that. Gave me this experience. I like the, you know what it is? It's like if you listen, to, if you think about, you start listing all the bourbon that are out there. And, you know, out of everything that we've tried, you know, a few of them kind of distinguish itself. Right. And this is, it's yeah, up there. It's distinguishable. It's, up there. it's very but you know distinguishable. What? Out of those, though, I don't think it can, like, destroy these other kind of. Uh, it may not be better, but it will stand out for yeah, the pack, I so, think. Yeah, I think that's why it's an eight. Fair enough. I, yeah. I don't know. It's very it's, unique to me. Yeah, no. I don't love the finish, but the finish is pretty unique. And I, and I, I mean, I think we'll when we compare it, it's yeah. going to be very telling. Um, but we'll just have to wait for that. It's up there. You're going to stay? Yeah, I'm holding. Okay, guys. Next category, drinkability. I gave it a seven. I get it. I gave it an eight. I, I gave it an eight. eight. Yeah. I gave it an eight. It's pretty drinkable. I could sip on it. The problem with me was the finish. I got the tannic hit, but... Right. See, I wasn't, it wasn't that strong for me, which is why it's like, oh, I can keep coming back to yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, you're not an E.H. Taylor, yeah. you know, barrel-proof kind of guy. I get it. I think I like the finish of this a little better, though. Yeah, because it has less tannic. That's why the finish <laughs> is higher. Yeah. And you convinced me to go down to a 7. Now. Yeah, he did go lower. I just had the recent uh, barrel-proof, E.H. Taylor barrel-proof. It might be an 8. You guys might be yeah. right. I'm so on the fence. Okay, why, why am I? Why should I go to an eight on drinkability? And the reason is, I look at all of the stuff that's on that shelf. <laughs> I would say this is up there. You know why? Because the jam is in the, in this thing. It's missing in all of these. I don't know, man. I, I just get the tannic hit on the finish. Which one would you pick? Which I get, this though. one versus what? I totally get where you're getting. What would you pick? Know. There's nothing there. I pick Honestly, something with less tannic. Because it's on actually finish. it's a weak eight for me. Admittedly, I think I'm going to so. stay with the seven. I, 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 I wouldn't blame I, you. I understand. Your, yeah. I understand. It's I don't mind this. This is one of those things that I am happy to go back to. The tannic. Does bug me a little bit too much. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, next category, aesthetics. I like the blue. Give it a four. I give it a five. I give it a five. I give it even has a belt, dude. And it does have the come on. The and look at this unique this wax has color. This, guy too. this yeah. stands out on the shelf. Yeah, I forgot about the metal because I took that out. It does stand out. You're yeah. right. I'm gonna You're go gonna up to a five. Easy. You're right. Good aesthetics on that. Yeah. I would go up one. It deserves that. Final category, value. I didn't know what to write down here. I started with a two. I went to a one because I'm like, you said two hundred dollars. I'm like, I know. I wrote a one originally, then I went up. A two. You went to a two. What did you get? I gave it a three. So we got one, two, three. I, I and don't the, know. And the reason, I go and that well, the reason uh, let me let me say it. Look, <laughs> convince we're, me. We are no, it's in not search. A three, dude. We are in search yeah. of a, a flavor truck. profile. Seventy dollars. Flavor profile. Seventy dollars. E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. A three is a reach. Two hundred dollars. You're not telling me that this is a three. Three is a What reach. is this then? This is a five. You think the molasses is, I think, higher on this one? No, we're talking value. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't this comes say. out three Experience times a getting. year. Three times a year, this comes out Experience for seventy, you're getting. eighty three? bucks. All right, I go down. I go down. I think three is too high. Yeah, yeah. I go down. I do think it's three is two. too high. So two. Uh, you guys haven't convinced me to go up for my one. I'm going to no, stick with I'd my stay one. with the one. I started at one. All right, let's get our final tally, guys. My official final score, 78. 79. 79. Wow. Which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for <laughs> Balmora from Garrison Brothers. 78. Damn. Really high silver. Uh, this could have easily be on the borderline of silver to gold. I understand that. It's 78.6, and of course we round down. Um, great offering. I mean, $200 is, that's so the problem for me. That, me too. I think you the, know what though? Come on, think about this though. I like, am thinking think about, about it. Think about, I'm like, thinking about this bottle right here. How much are you gonna get right in the Well. <laughs> I'm thinking about this bottle right here. Convince me otherwise. You're buying three of those. Yeah, you are. You are. Come on, oh, dude. You're buying three of, you're buying, three of you're those. You're buying the A, B, and C of this. Every you're year. This. You're buying that every, yeah. You know that's true. Exactly. He's, we know, silence means victory. Jules takes yeah. out. 
<laughs> Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, just let us know. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private. Remember show program here on YouTube. We are also on Patreon. And please buy some t-shirts because that helps us as well. We are uh, we do have a podcast on all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. the time frame for being silent is being shorter and shorter. <laughs> like, it's like one second. Uh, I was, uh, I just, I was when I get the phrase in, silence <laughs> yes. means victory, and I win. <laughs> I win. I win. I win. All right, let's do a block. Let's go. Let's go. Mm.